Would you rather eat molasses or moles asses? Hi everybody, my name is Austin Nova and welcome back to Would You Rather. Now the last couple of episodes I've been spicing things up with fiery jelly beans and some wasabi. Uh, and so to kind of give myself a little bit of the break on the spicy side, I've switched over to something else. Uh, to molasses. I got some molasses here and what I'm gonna do in this one because the last one I did <laughs> to be a good sport uh, I would suffer the consequences for every one that I chose that the majority picked and that was probably a mistake with the wasabi anyway because I kept getting <laughs> the majority you guys saw it already if you haven't why are you watching this one first but anyway uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to selecting or not selecting. I don't there's no way to know but the choices that I make if the non-majority Pick that same one that I've picked Then I will take a spoonful of molasses So going back to how I did with the jelly beans, but if it doesn't work out then I'll just take molasses here every now and then but anyway, let's get to it would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter? <laughs> uh, well, I like confetti. I'm not a huge fan of glitter. Glitter is one of those things that once it's like on the floor or your clothes or just the carpet or whatever, it's it's just there forever. Like it's it's not going anywhere. So. Uh, I and it's just, so it's just more of a pain to clean up because like I said, it's not going anywhere It's just there forever uh, So I would rather burp confetti plus it just sounds that just sounds very funny <laughs> Burp confetti of course. Oh wait. No, that's good. All right. The majority picked that one. So we're fine. I'm fine Would you rather have Gandalf as your granddad or have Dumbledore as your granddad? Huh. Well I like them both, but I think Gandalf is more of a badass, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go with Gandalf. Oh, that's a 50 50, a split middle. Wow. But there's more people who. There's more people who voted on the disagree, so how's that 50 50? That doesn't make any sense. But because it's 50 50, I'll be a good sport and I'll take the molasses. Now this this is kind of a this is kind of a messy one, so I'm just gonna take my time with it. I'm just gonna take it right now. Ugh. I don't mind. Like, ugh. I like molasses. But with like biscuits or rolls or something like that, but by itself, oh, it's not my cup of tea. Would you rather be married to someone who is, would you rather? That confuses the hell out of me. Would you rather be married to someone who is a know-it-all or very ignorant? So, well, if, first off, I'm a pretty ignorant person, so if I'm married to someone who is a know-it-all, then they would get, uh, <laughs> they would be annoyed just by my ignorance, and I would be ignored, uh, I would be annoyed by their know-it-all, uh, their wits and all their knowledge and all that shit, that fancy shit. And then, if they were ignorant, very ignorant, then I could relate a lot more to them and maybe at some points I might even <laughs> feel even smarter than them and make myself feel better. Uh, but I, I feel like I would get along more with someone that I'm married to that's very ignorant like myself. Not that I would have a problem with a know-it-all, but... You know, that whole opposites attract thing, to me, that's bullshit. I think it's more of uh, the more you have in common, so very ignorant. I guess people would rather be married to a know-it-all. Well, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't have a problem with someone being smart. I wish I was smart. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, that's right, the molasses. The mole's asses, got it. Yep, don't worry. Me and my ignorance, you know. 
this video just shows my ignorance right now, my ignorance level. Ugh, I have to brush my teeth after this. Would you rather have the crush of your dreams or have infinite amounts of your favorite appetite? Oh, well, I don't really have a crush. So I would rather have infinite amounts of my favorite appetizer. That sounds more like me anyway. I love food. That sounds amazing. Apparently, the majority have crushes. Losers. God, I have to have more molasses. And my spoon. No, my spoon is covered in molasses. I should have gotten my cereal, my cereal killer spoon, the tiny one. Whatever. Ugh. I guess I'm just gonna have molasses dipped spoon. I need some water. Would you rather pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out? I would rather do neither because they sound awful. Oh, pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out. Oh, toenails. Oh, I don't know. I feel like that one would be more painful. But I don't know how uh, problematic it would be, uh, you know, pulling out all your hair. Like, would your hair grow back? I mean, if it does, I mean, it takes, I don't know. I guess I would rather pull my toenails out just because I'm growing my hair out and I just wouldn't want to have to grow it all back out. I mean, that's the beauty of hair. It can all grow back. Uh, but, um, yeah, just pull out toenails. It'll probably be more painful in the long run, but, you know. Oh, come on. I don't want more molasses. I'm already tired of it. <laughs> I'm already tired of it. I'm gonna hate it after this episode. Should have had some rolls or biscuits on the side. Would you rather be topless all the time or be pantless all the time? Well, I feel like for guys, it's not really an issue to be topless all the time, so I guess I would rather be topless all the time. Glad the majority agrees with me, so I don't have to take molasses on that one. Would you rather have all fingernails and toenails removed quickly or deep? Paper cuts on the webbing between each finger at toe slowly. Oh, and toe slowly. Ugh. Removed quickly. Okay, so. Yeah, I just had a full body cringe. Um, paper cuts suck, though. Uh, again, I guess I would, oh, but they would probably, I mean, they'd both be painful. Fingernails and toenails removed quickly. It doesn't matter how quick it is. I mean, I guess at least it'd be over quickly. The pain might last quite a bit, but... Uh. All right. Uh, the majority of us want parts of our body removed versus some paper cuts, but you know. Would you rather have nipples that constantly change colors like a disco light or have nipples like look like diamonds? Both sound amazing. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I mean, if I had diamond nipples, someone might want to steal them. Someone might want to steal my diamond nipples. But I, I mean, but if I had nipples that constantly change colors like a disco light, everyone be inviting me to the party for some disco. <laughs> so that sounds more amazing, anyway. Oh, what? Who would want nipples that look like diamonds? I hope they all steal your diamond nipples. Ugh, someone steal my molasses, please. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is more molasses than I'm bargaining for. If you had to die, would you rather die a painful death that goes down in history, or die a painless death that everyone hates you for? <laughs> well... I mean, <laughs> I guess if you think about it, if you're dead, 
You wouldn't really care, would you? But, you get to go down in history, though. I mean, you're gonna die either way, so... I guess, uh... I wouldn't wanna... I would want it to be painless, but... You know, I would like to go down in history, wouldn't you? Please, majority, agree with me. Please, majority. Yes, everyone wants to slowly die painfully. I'm so glad everyone agrees with me on that. Would you rather have your name known forever for doing something terrible or never be recognized for accomplishing something wonderful? I would rather never be recognized for accomplishing something wonderful. It's called integrity. I mean, uh, why would you want to do something terrible and everyone knows your name forever? Therefore, no one would <laughs> like you. Chances are no one would give you another chance either. I would rather never be recognized. Yeah. <laughs> the 22% and they're like, I don't give a shit. Would you rather eat a rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish or bathe naked in vomit? What kind of question is that? Well, I feel like if I eat rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish, I feel like I'm gonna already be bathing myself in vomit. And also, if I'm bathing in naked in vomit, which, I mean, I would bathe naked normally anyway, uh, whose vomit is it? Is it mine? Oh, this sound, this is so messed up. I guess... Uh... I guess eat a rancid mixture of rotten egg and old fish. That sounds awful, but you can kind of just pretend that you're not eating anything. Oh no, someone would rather bathe in vomit? Ugh. But you don't even know if it's your vomit. It might be someone else's. Ugh. At least I'm getting rid of this molasses. Would you rather be one foot smaller than you are right now, or be one foot taller than you are right now? Huh, well, I'm six foot. So, that would put me at either five foot or seven foot. Hmm. I don't know. Is it is seven foot too tall? <laughs> or uh, one foot smaller? Hmm. I guess I would rather be a foot taller. That sounds not too bad. So I guess seven foot. Here we go. <laughs> I bet you 84% of those people are short. And I bet you 84% of the people watching this might be short and hate me right now. <laughs> but I don't have to have molasses. Would you rather stop using YouTube or stop using Facebook? Well, I am been doing YouTube more than anything, so I would rather stop using Facebook, because, I mean, who uses Facebook anymore? Alright, so, there's a lot of, uh, agreements around here. Would you rather have a first edition holographic Charizard, or get $20? Have a first edition holographic Charizard? Uh, that sounds... For one, that would probably be worth a lot more than the twenty dollars. So I guess the first edition holographic Charizard. All right, Pokemon, here we go. Would you rather get electrocuted for ten seconds or get slapped twenty times? Uh, how many volts and amps is in the electrocution, huh? <laughs> uh, or get slapped twenty times? And how bad is the slaps? Is it like slap bad as in like the competition, the stupid competition where people keep slapping each other till one passes out? I guess get electrocuted for 10 seconds. <laughs> Everyone would rather get slapped 20 times. I can't say I blame them. I can't say I blame them. Uh, but I blame all of you for this molasses idea. It was all your idea. It was horrible. Don't know what you were thinking. Ugh. Would you rather stab yourself in the stomach with a five-inch blade or cut off the tips of all your own fingers? Like how much of the tips of your fingers? Stab yourself in the stomach with a five-inch blade 
that's still pretty bad. And stab yourself in the stomach. You're... I mean... You can still pick things up with the... You can still... Whatever. Cut off the tips of my fingertips. No, I should have just not answered this one. Oh, I should have just moved on to another question. But no, no, we have to do more of this shit. I get molasses all over my table. My whole desk is gonna be just sticky from molasses. For one week, would you rather eat nothing but dog treats or eat nothing but cat food? Well, when we talk dog treats, are we talking like Scooby-Doo treats, Scooby snacks? <laughs> uh, but I guess I would rather have dog treats. And I mean, I've, I've, as a child, I've eaten dog food before, like the dry foods. I've never had like I don't believe I've had the, like the wet canned foods, dog or cat. Definitely wouldn't try it now. But uh, dog treats sounds, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> would you rather? have a spouse with trees as arms or have a spouse with alligator arms well with uh my spouse having tree arms you know the least i would have to worry about is i mean it might be an apple tree or something you know i didn't think about that could have apples might get some splinters here and there but if i have a spouse with alligator arms you know every time that she might try to hug me or give me a kiss you know i'd be worried that the alligator is gonna be giving me uh, a biting instead. So, he's <laughs> be trying to eat me. So I'm gonna just go with the spouse with the tree arms. Yes. Oh, alligators, his arms. What do you wanna do? Keep those arms as pets or something? Would you rather never play computer games again or never watch any video on a computer again? Well, that's very easy because uh, I would rather never watch any video on a computer again. Oh, come on. You got, you got phones. This is, this is the future now. You got tablets, you got phones, you got TVs, you can watch videos on those things. You don't need a damn computer to watch a video again. Ugh. Oh, I was actually thinking I wasn't going to have to take molasses on this one. That's bullshit. That pisses me off. When you walk into a room, would you rather have everyone stare awkwardly or have everyone look away in disgust? <laughs> Just walk in, hey guys, what's up? Ugh. Or would you <laughs> rather, I mean, I would rather have everybody stare awkwardly at me. I mean, because I mean, people kind of, when people stare at me, it's already awkward anyway. So stare awkwardly. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. If there is no risk of injury, would you rather hug a panda or hug a polar bear? Um, I would rather hug a polar bear? No! Oh, come on! Uh, you could have Coca-Cola with the polar bear. Or molasses. Ugh, I think I want to go back to the wasabi. Would you rather get chopped up by a wood chipper or get run over by a steam roller? Oh, now this is a good question. Uh, but I feel like a wood chipper, as scary and horrible as I'm sure that would be, I feel like that would still be faster than a steam roller. So I'm gonna go with wood chipper. Wait, I, I, I just picture Oh, come on, molasses. Oh, well, whatever. But the steamroller, I just pictured that, that one scene from Austin Powers. I'm sure a lot of you know about it. Uh, but just the guy going, Stop! Stop! <laughs> That's basically what that would be. It would be awful. <laughs> and also embarrassing. I mean, they would both be embarrassing, but that would just be embarrassing. Did I take molasses? I didn't. In a fantasy world, would you rather be a fairy who cannot fly or be a 10 foot tall dwarf? <laughs> uh, well, fairies are just flying assholes 
but a 10 foot dwarf? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, come on. Why do you want to be a fairy? What kind of fairy are you if you can't fly? It's not like you get to be Tinkerbell. Would you rather die slowly but not much pain? Or die fast with a lot of pain? Um... Well... I mean... Dying slowly but not much pain, that's pretty much what we're doing right now, you know? Just living. You're slowly dying as you age. But there's just really... Either little to no pain at all. So I guess we'll just go with die slowly but not much pain. Great, I'm glad everyone can agree with me on that one so I don't have to eat more of this molasses shit. Would you rather only read romance novels or only read textbooks? Well, I mean, if I read, for one, I don't believe I read romance novels, but also, I think I would rather read textbooks just because from at least what I'm reading, I could acquire <laughs> some knowledge from that, you know? <laughs> so, uh, read textbooks. Yeah, okay, I'm glad a majority agree. <laughs> Would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? Uh, well, I mean, I feel like just not that long ago, maybe 10, 20 years ago, uh, another life, another world. Uh, girls were boys and boys were girls, so I guess I would rather wear a dress because I've, uh, I mean, for one, I've worn both before. <laughs> I've worn a dress before and I've worn high heels. I've tried walking in high heels and almost died. It's just not, and they're just really uncomfortable, so I'd rather wear a dress. Okay, glad everyone agrees with me on that one. Well, not everybody, but majority. Would you rather only use a Mac or only use a Windows PC? Well, I use a Windows PC, so I'd rather use that. Yeah. Would you rather always have mud in your shoes or always have a pebble in your Well, at least with the mud, it, you might have some padding and be uh, less strain on your feet. But if you have a pebble, that would just be annoying and would also cause a lot of discomfort, I would think. So, mud in the shoes. Well, whatever. Apparently people would rather be in pain all day. Whatever, that's on them. Oh. Oh. Would you rather know the exact time and place of your own death or know the exact time and place of death of everyone around you? Wow, that's a lot of people to know the exact place of death of everyone around you. Oh, but I wouldn't want to know that because, I mean, then I'd be trying to spend time with everybody uh, and until their last moment and it would just be heartbreaking knowing when they are going to die and, uh just the place they're gonna die and that would just be that would just be miserable to me at least I would I guess I would rather know the exact time and place of my own death so that way I know to not be there on that time <laughs> I'll just be late be running late and then it won't happen right so all right apparently everyone else doesn't want to know when they die they want to know when everyone else dies so they can all write right in their agenda or their planner uh, to meet with these people and spend time with them before their last moments, you know. Whatever, I'll take more of this molasses shit. I literally have to hold it weird because there's molasses all over the damn spoon. <laughs> Would you rather be attracted but get punched in the <laughs> face every morning <laughs> or be ugly? <laughs> if you're ugly, and uh, would you, would, if, if you got punched while ugly, would you be Squidward and just be, get more handsome? Or is it like that you're attractive as like Squidward and you get punched every morning and every time you get punched, you just get more and more attractive, therefore you get more punched? <laughs> this picture is like, good morning, handsome. <laughs> Uh, that, I mean, eventually I would go brain dead or someone would beat me to a coma or something, so, uh, be ugly. I'm fine with ugly. I mean, I'm kind of that already. Uh, you know what else is ugly? Eating molasses. That's ugly. This is, this is... <laughs> okay, no more. No more. I'm done. I'm done for doing this for over half an hour now. Ugh. 
Ugh. Uh, I, did, I thought this one was gonna be kind of a walk in the park, but don't, boy was I wrong. Ugh. I'm actually looking forward to the next one, and you'll know why when that one comes. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you around in the next video. Have a good one.